Good morning, you guys. It's me, Kiana, coming at you today. And it is very early in the morning. Um, and I just... A lot of times I stray away from things that can be controversial. And a lot of YouTubers do this. Um, because although you, the viewers in the audience, want us to keep it real, and very briefly, let me let me actually piggyback on what I just said about keeping it real. Keeping it real doesn't mean that it's always a positive thing. Um, keeping it real doesn't mean that it's something to look up to. Keeping it real doesn't mean that it is something that um, should be praised. Because I think that we throw around the term keeping it real so often that you know, people are always like, you keep it real, you keep it 100. But we have to really, really think about is keeping it real and keeping it 100 in the context that you're using again, is that really a great thing? Because in essence, when you're saying that, and in the context that we usually say it in, we're, we're saying it as basically as cheering per, a person on. We're saying it as um exalting them we're saying it as praising them so i think that we have to really be careful with understanding that um should we be doing that should we be saying that and um and evaluate what we're saying it to and who we're saying it to and what we're saying it about because it's been times that in the past, since I've been on YouTube for three years, I've seen and basically done it all. And um, I've experienced it all. Um, and it's at times that I, you know, let the flesh get get the best of me, um, let frustration get the best of me, and um, let anger and sadness get the best of me. And it's been times that I, quote unquote, went in. And um, it's okay to vent because I do now vent um, and I do it on my channel as well. Not all the time because it's not necessary all the time. But sometimes I do vent and sometimes I feel it's necessary. Um, just as you in your own life, you decide what's necessary for you and I do the same. Um, but it's been times in the past that I have vented um, in a non-constructive, um, degrading, um, unladylike way. I mean, I, I can't put it any other way. It doesn't sound good. Um, some people, because of how they live or how they roll, um, that comment will make you feel like it's judgmental. No, I'm just expressing the true facts. And the true facts don't always sound pretty. It's not always going to be wrapped in a little pretty bow. So I'm just basically being honest with you and myself. And yes, I have went in at times in the past and it was not ladylike. It was not um, needed. It was not necessary. It was not, um, although I may found it necessary at the time, it's a way that you do things. For one, it's a way that you do things as a lady, as a mother, as a wife. And as a child of God, you are the the daughter of the Most High, and we should carry ourselves as such. Now we are human at the same time, so it will be times that we fall short. It's to be expected, not from man, but from God. He expects that of us. Um, and what you do at that moment, at that time, reevaluate, bring it back, and repent. Try to do better. Try not to revisit that moment um, and try to do things differently. Um, so with all that being said, I'm just saying that, you know, I myself, see, when I do these videos, I don't think people really hear it. And it's not necessarily they don't want, they don't hear it. They don't want to hear it because hearing and digesting what I'm saying makes their argument um, invalid. It makes... Um, their issues appear to be for something else. Are you understanding what I'm saying? 
So when I give these videos and I give examples of where I have even, even done wrong, where I have even needed help, where I have even needed um, support, where I have seen where I needed change, where I have seen where I needed growth, um, where I have seen uh, mistakes that I've done. When I do these videos, I always point out how I've had to grow from this or what I did to get out of this. I always give that with these videos because sometimes people do videos to undercover, um, kind of like insult people. Sometimes people do videos because um, it makes them feel superior because maybe they haven't experienced certain things. Um, sometimes people do videos just to give information. It's not any malice or anything like that, any negative um, you know, connotation. It's, it's nothing like that. It's just that they may be just giving the information or what they've seen or their opinion but I, I want to do more than that I think that we really don't benefit from those videos necessarily sure it gives us an opportunity for us to all talk and for us to all give our opinions and things like that but there is always or there is never any resolution um, there is never any There is never any examples of how the next person can can do better. How they don't have to be in that route. Or route. They don't have to depend on that or rely solely on that. If you're understanding what I'm saying, um, us talking is great. It opens up the dialogue. It gives us different views, um, other angles on a situation other than just our own. Um, that's that's not only um, positive, but it's healthy. But we sometimes have to go beyond just discussing and be honest. Maybe you don't want to tell your business, and that's understandable. But this is my call, and this is something that is placed on my life and my heart to do. And although I don't share everything since the beginning of my videos when I was trying to teach people how to coupon because the reasoning for me doing that was because I was homeless myself just a few years prior um, literally just like two years prior if that and I was freshly married um, you all know our story because it's on here and if you don't know, go check out my video called Testimony 1 and Testimony 2. It's way back, about three years ago almost, about two and a half years ago. Um, but it will fill you in if you don't know um, our story. But um, I know how hard it is for people when they're real and when they're honest with themselves. It's extremely hard uh, for a lot of people out there. Um, especially single mothers uh, and then we also have couples that struggle because not everybody marries somebody who is rich or who is well off um, some people look at a man's character a man's value system um, the the way the man actually loves you some people look at that and look less of at the money issue or the money aspect now um, that doesn't mean that you have to marry somebody that doesn't have any money to get love or to uh, be loved no I'm not saying that what I'm saying is that I'm just telling the other side that some people why they decide to marry somebody that may don't have money um, so therefore it's not just the single mothers that may struggle but it's also the uh, struggling couple that are doing their best together as a unit but they still are having a hard time making the eat ends meet and also, you know, um, just just basically struggling with the necessities of, of in life. So, so when 
I lost my train of thought, you guys. I'm sorry. I just woke up, but I just was it was just pressed in my heart to talk about this. So, um when you Oh, when I when I when I started teaching coupon and it wasn't because oh let's hoard, let's uh get this free stuff, let's yeah, let's 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 let's, let's ride around and get all this. No, it was because and I've expressed that way back on my channel when I used to every week take time to break down the coupons and what you should get this week and how much you should pay and all of that. And I used to take a, a quite a big part of my Saturday um, to do that so that we got us us together would be ready for um, our attack on Sunday. I did that because I knew that it was a struggle for some to be able to afford diapers. I knew that if they was able to cut corners or cut money, uh, you know, s cut like purchases or whatever, or out of pocket expenses, if they were able to cut it here, they would be able to afford this there. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's why I took time to share. And again, when we just go beyond just discussing and just talking and give examples, even with giving examples of our own lives how we made it, um, I think that that becomes more beneficial for us. That becomes um, things of substance. That becomes something that can actually plant a seed for someone to do better in their life. Um, that becomes something that can connect with someone. Um, they can connect with it and they can relate to it. And it instills hope because, not false hope, because after all, if if I got through it, then you too, my sister, can get through it. After all, I'm not special. You're just as special as me. So if I was able to get through it, if I was able to fight through it, and then I turn around and tell you how I did so, then you're going to be blessed with that. You're going to be blessed with that exchange, with that conversation. Um, you're going to be blessed with my sharing because it's going to show you that there is hope for you. You don't have to be in that dark place where you think that you're hopeless. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I've shared and that's why I've always shared. Now, granted, I don't share some things anymore because it does come with quite a black backlash. We're amongst a lot of women that and I say women because that's the majority of my audience. Okay, we are amongst a lot of women that that um, don't like to see growth. They like to be stunted and stagnated. They like that. They feel comfortable with that. And you know, to each his own. Um, I'm not one of those people that's going to try to control you because that's a spirit of witch witchcraft for one. Okay, that's why I say it's a lot of YouTube witches. Um, that's not a crazy thinking that people flying on brooms or stirring a big pot of, of frog legs and no, that's not, that's not what I mean by that. It's actually, um, biblical when you say witches, spiritual witches. And one of the characteristics, characteristics of, of that is the spirit of being controlling. So I am definitely not trying to control anyone, trying to recruit anyone, I'm just basically, I believe that God works through people by sh by allowing us to share our testimony so that can plant the seed and then he can do the rest. See, I'm not trying to step on his toes. You know, I'm not trying to step on his toes. Um, I believe that he has all power um, and I am just basically a vessel. So I just, ba I, I don't try to, to, to control um, people's decisions. What I do is I share I pray on it, I share, I ask him to guide me in my sharing, and I allow him to do the rest. Because after all, all he asks is, is for a a small tidbit of faith. And he'll simply take it to the next level. So I'm going to go ahead and do a part two to this video because I didn't I didn't actually uh, think I was going to get into that these things. But like I said, I, I move when things are pressed on my heart. Um, I was watching a video yesterday um, and it was talking about the food stamp 
um, shutdown that you guys know happened and I, I believe most states are over it um, and I did a video um, many of you guys have already watched it where I gave you raw details raw information and I gave you guys raw truth um, and I also gave you guys the truth that has been in my life because I'm not one to say that I've never needed help that would be silly I mean I don't know um, and it, it, I'm not gonna say I don't know because I know it's irrational it, I know it's a lie because no one if they are old enough to have l lived and to have experienced if you live long enough you're going to ask somebody for something I don't care it may not be food stamps in your life I get that okay so I don't need anybody saying oh well, I have I didn't need no food stamps great but did you need health care did you need um, financial aid um, to get an education so that you can have that good job not many people pay for their degree up front not many people sign a check and say okay I'm gonna cut this check for forty thousand dollars because if I graduate from this two-year um, college this junior college that's what's, what it's gonna cost so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and sign this check over to you um, and I'm going to attend all my classes and not many people are put in that position to do that so a lot of people especially Americans being that we um, as long as we meet the criteria we can actually get assistance with going to school with asking for help and with being able to um, uh, be uh, dependent on ourselves with gaining employment or um, gaining the knowledge to open your own business or whatever um, it may not be that it may you need it it may be you need to help to pay for a gas and electric bill and you know three years ago um, it may be that you needed some sugar from your neighbor. The, it doesn't matter. Tomato, tomato. Um, it doesn't matter what the help was. The fact remains is that we all, all of us that are adults, that have lived, that have some age on us, have asked for some help at some point in time. That's just the reality. Um, and I discuss where I've needed help and how I was able to make it over um, so I want to do that a part two to that video and this is basically part two um, piggybacking on that and the part three is going to be what I want to discuss um, because I watched a video yesterday I actually watched a couple of videos and it really was pressed in my heart to talk about this so please stay tuned you guys um, watch part two um, also watch the very first video I did on the food stamp shutdown and I'm going to go ahead and link that underneath of this video but I, I, I really 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 want to talk more in depth about um, the shutdown and I'm going to give my true angle um, my true thoughts and um, my true experiences um, even further so make sure you stay tuned to part three which is the next video this is part two right here and then underneath of this video will be the original video on uh, real art and the food stamp shutdown so I thank you all for tuning in I thank you all for being family please thumbs up this video because what it does is it encourages me to continue to share um, at times we don't we as vloggers we don't um, we don't think that sometimes you guys receive our message um, the way that it's intended so when you thumbs up it encourages me to share my story it encourages me to share my journey um, things that a lot of people would keep to themselves it encourages me to share it um, because if it's received in the way or in the manner that it's sent then I would be encouraged but if I see that it's not received the way that I'm intending then it's pointless for me to continue to do so so that's what thumbs upping does for me and means to me when I get an overwhelming amount of thumbs down yes I'll still probably go ahead and share maybe maybe not maybe I won't share in that way again um, not because I'm fearful of a backlash or anything because after all I've learned and it took me a minute this is the computer 
what can you do to me? The most you can do is send me a message. Make another account. Take time to do all that. And I guarantee you, because I work on the computer, in 40.2 seconds, it'll be erased and gone. You will be blocked. All your efforts will be pointless. So it's not even, I think a lot of people have come to know that. So it's like not even worth the time and effort. Really, it won't even make it to be posted for a minute. It'll be like 36 seconds. And it'll be gone from the face of earth. And it took you five minutes to create the account. So anyway, um, but I, I like I said, what it does is encourages me to continue to share. And um, so I hope that you understand that, and I hope that you receive all of these, um, all of these videos uh, with the in the way that it's intended. Okay. So, all right, you guys. So I will talk to you guys in a minute. And uh, yeah, part three. Be blessed.